With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is consider the number n is equal to 774958P96Q and we are given three parts where we are to find the value of P and Q. So our first part is if P is equal to 2 then the number n is divisible by 3 then number of possible values of Q are so firstly we will solve our first part it is given that this number is divisible by 3 so here we will apply the divisibility rule of 3 which says that the sum should be divisible by 3 so here our sum will be equal to 7 plus 7 plus 4 plus 9 plus 5 plus 8 plus p plus 9 plus 6 plus q adding them this will come out to be equal to 55 plus p plus q but we are given that our q is equal to 2 so this will become 57 plus q now this number number 57 plus q should be divisible by 3 here we see that our number 57 is divisible by 3 therefore if the q is also divisible by 3 therefore the sum will be divisible by 3 so the possible conditions of q are 0 3 6 and 9 because we know that these all numbers are divisible by 3 and we are only taking unit digits because we know that this number should be a unit digit we can also check by putting these values in 57 plus q we will see that the sum will be divisible by 3 so the number of values of q will be equal to 4 now our second part is if n is divisible by 4 then find the values of p and q we know that the divisibility rule of 4 says that the last two digits should be divisible by 4 which means that 6 and q should be divisible by 4 rest of the number can be whatever the number it wants to be which means that we can have any number of p over here so for our second part the value of p can be from 0 to 9 we are only left to find the value of q so according to the question 6 q should be should be divisible divisible by 4 now we will check that if we put the value of q to be from 0 to 9 we will have 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 and 69 here we see that 60 is divisible by 4, 61 is not, 62 and 63 are also not, 64 is. Then the next number that is divisible is 68. So therefore the value of Q can either be 0, 4 or 8. And the value of P we found were from 0 to 9. Therefore this is our second part. Now our third part is if N is divisible by 8 and 9 both then the number of possible ordered pairs of P and Q are. So firstly we will check for our 8. So for our third part we see that our N was given to us to be 774958P96Q. Firstly we will have to find for 8. So here we see that the divisibility rule of 8 says that the last three numbers should be divisible by 8 which means that 960 Q should be divisible by 8. Here we see that 96 is already divisible by 8. So the number to be divisible by 8 the value of Q should be such that it is also divisible by 8. Therefore the value of Q can be only 0 and 8. And since P does not include in our last three numbers the value of P can be from 0 to 9. Now firstly we will have to find for 9 also and then see what are the common points. Secondly we will find for 9 it says that the sum should be divisible by 9. We earlier found that this sum was equal to 55 plus P plus Q. Here we know that 55 is not divisible by 9 but the next number after this will be 63 and the next will be 72. These both number are divisible by 9 which means that this whole to be divisible by 9 the value of P plus Q should be equal to 63 minus 55 that will be equal to 8. So if from the first condition we see that the value of Q can only be 0 and 8 but the value of P can be anything. So if we see that Firstly, we will let the value of Q to be equal to 0. This will give us the value of P to be 8. And secondly, if we let the value of Q to be equal to 8, we see that the value of P will be equal to 0. So therefore, our first ordered pair of P, Q will be 8, 0. And from here, we will get 0, 8. We will take the second condition of 72. It will mean that the value of P on Q should be equal to 72 minus 55. That is equal to 70. 
and similarly here we can only take the value of q to be 0 and 8 so therefore for our first case if we take the value of q to be 0 this will mean that the value of p to be equal to 17 but we see that this is not possible because it should be a unit digit second case will be that the value of q is equal to 8 so from here we will get the value of p to be 9 therefore this value will be 9 comma 8 now here if you also take the third condition that this sum is equal to 81 so we are letting that p plus q plus 55 is equal to 81 which means that the value of p plus q will be equal to 26 but we see that no two single digit can add up to be 26 therefore this case is not possible so hence we have found our three ordered pairs of p comma q which are equal to 0 comma 8 8 comma 0 and lastly we have 9 comma 8 so therefore we have solved all our three parts and this is our required answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today